What's going on? This is Cooking with Cocktails with your boy Anthony. And today we're having oxtail stew. But first, let's get started on our cocktail. All right, for our cocktail today, it's gonna be a mango peach lemonade. So let's get started on All right, for starters, we got our Sprite. This is a one can of Sprite. Also gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of sugar. We're also going to add some fresh lemon juice, and this is a fourth of a cup. I got a little bit of lemonade. All right, we're going to go ahead and add our mangoes. So I'm going to put about a cup of mangoes up in there. Also, we got a little peach puree. So we're gonna put maybe about a third of a cup. Also, I have Bacardi rum. We're gonna go ahead and add a cup of that. So you can make this as strong as you would like. So we got a cup of Bacardi rum. And we're gonna put a cup of vodka, whatever is your favorite vodka. This is um, a lemon favorite, a lemon flavored vodka. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in there. All right. And I'm also gonna add, add a fourth of a cup of margarita mix. We're gonna get this stirred really good. Because I like sweetness, I'm gonna add just a little bit more of simple syrup. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the peach puree. Okay. Ah. So let's just make sure we get this stirred up really good. And I'm actually gonna add just a little bit more rum because I actually want it a little stronger. So we're gonna add our rum. Now it's ready to serve. So I got me some ice. Go ahead and pour that bad boy in there. I'm telling y'all, this is good. And you can make this, if you're having a party or something, a little small gathering. That's good. All right, now it's time to get started on our right, So for the ingredients, you're gonna need some oxtails, and also I got some um, beef bones up in here. Also got some baby um, you couldn't go potatoes. We got a whole pack of baby carrots. We got some onions that I sliced. And I want all my veggies to be a little thicker than normal because it's gonna cook for hours, so I need them to stand up. This is celery. Got a little bit of serrano peppers, which you can leave out if you don't like the heat. Beef bouillon. Brown sugar. We got a little bit of salt. That's kosher salt. Garlic powder. We got some minced garlic, tomato paste. This is Slap Your Mama seasoning. Got some parsley, rosemary. Also got some red pepper flakes. We got some red wine. Wickershire sauce. And some kitchen bouquet. All right, so now let's get started on our... All right, so the oxtails, what I did is season them with a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning, some garlic. We also got a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of brown sugar. We did a little bit of um, Slap Your Mama seasoning and some salt. And you can pretty much 
Season these how you want. I also put a little bit of Wickershire sauce and a little bit of hot sauce. In. All right, so I got my Dutch oven. We're gonna go on ahead and add a little bit of olive oil. Let's get our Okay. What you want to do is kind of get these a little brown. I actually put a little bit too many up in here. Normally I would put just a little bit and then I would um you know do it in batches that way it'll get brown and not steam. But it's okay. So we're gonna let this cook and we'll be back to show you. Alright, so I took out the oxtails, they didn't got brown, so now it's time for us to add our veggies so we're going to put our cucumbers our celery out my, out my bad we're going to put our celery and onions that's a whole onion i'm going to add a little bit of salt to that remember season every step now i'm going to let this cook down and then we're going to go ahead and add our tomato paste and all the other liquids all right as you can see our veggies has cooked down so now we're going to go ahead and add some tomato paste Some wine, whatever is your favorite wine. But one thing I do advise on, do not use cooking wine. Never use cooking wine. Cooking wine has a certain flavor that I just don't like. All right. We're gonna add a little bit of kitchen bouquet. Some Wickershire sauce, a few dashes. Also, we're gonna add a little water. All right, water gonna kind of dilute a little bit of that wine flavor. All right, we're going to add rosemary. Now this is. Freshly grown out of my own little personal garden. We got some thyme. Add the serrano peppers. And like I said earlier, if you don't like heat, you can leave the serrano peppers out. We're gonna add a little bit of beef bouillon. Go ahead and add our brown sugar. Add a pinch of salt, some garlic, and some minced garlic. I'm gonna add some slap your mama, a pinch of red pepper flakes, not too much because we already got some serrano peppers up in there. Let's get that. Stir it up, and what you want to do is taste. Always taste your food throughout the cooking process. So you know if you need to add any more seasonings or whatever. All right, I think we're good. So I'm gonna cover this up and let this just simmer. And then we're gonna add our oxtails. All right, as you can see, we got our Oxtails added back in after we let our um, sauce start to simmer. So what we're gonna do is cover this back up and we're gonna put it on medium heat and let it simmer for about two hours. At that point, we're gonna go ahead and add our potatoes and carrots. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, so it's been cooking for about two and a half hours. Now it's time for us to add our potatoes and our carrots. All right, so this is how the Oxtails is looking. We're gonna go ahead and add our baby carrots. These potatoes that I didn't cleaned off real good. 
I'm also gonna add a little bit more liquid to this. Get it stirred up real good. Now we're gonna cover this back up. We're gonna let this cook for about another hour to 45 minutes to an hour. We will see you then. All right, so the food is ready. Um, what we're gonna do is go ahead and show you how it look and then we're gonna taste it. All right, so this is how it's looking. See how tender it is. Mm. So now we're about to go ahead and plate this up. Alright, so this is how it look. So we're gonna go ahead and taste this. We got a little cornbread, oxtail, stew. Oh yeah. It's on point, it's seasoned good. The um wine, you taste the sweetness of the wine. The oxtail is fall off the bone syndrome. That. That's on point. Well, thank y'all for watching Cooking with Cocktails. Till next time, I have a wonderful day.